Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the, the Docker and how I can setting up the database called MariaDB and it's from the from a MySQL family. So it's a pretty pretty nice if you have the MySQL GUI to test the connection after this video. Uh, you can use the Heidi SQL. It's uh, free and it's pretty cool. I will show uh, I'll show you that when I'm coming later in this video. And uh, for testing purpose uh, Docker for MariaDB it's pretty good for production I will not recommend this way and I'm speaking about experience because when you containerize something in in, in some way the containerized uh, it's pretty good for many things if you need to scale up and scale down very quickly but my experience is if you have the MariaDB on on a kind of virtual machine environment like Docker and uh, Hyper-V and something like that, then you don't get the, the direct access for the hardware. So if you're having a heavy load system, this tutorial is not for you. If it's for developer purpose, this is exactly for you because for developer purpose, the Maria Mar Mar running pretty smooth and pretty easy to set up. You don't know how to set it up and tuning it and that's pretty nice. I use it on work every day and we have in a database on like 10, 20 gigabytes of space. So if you have you have the time and you know it could be slow or something like that, then it's, it's okay. But I never recommend this for production. So let's start to, to testing it up. We're going here to the version 3.7 and we want to service and MariaDB, that's what we want to do, to do now. And the image should be Maria DB and restart. If you run like a demon, I will say always because uh, you probably have other containers that need this database. So just set restart always on, it, but it's up to you, you don't need that. And then we need the environment. And for here we need the MySQL root password and I just call it secret now. And of course it should be more secure, I know that. But I'm only testing this for you so you know what we are speaking about. Volumes and then we need to say data and the data folder I will just place in var lib and then MySQL. And why I'm using this, it's because if you don't point for the mount point, then if you're upgrading the MariaDB over time, then you just wipe everything you have done. And that will not be pretty nice. So that's why we do this. And it's up to you, but I would recommend you do, do this. Because if you destroy your, your image and something like that, then you destroy all your data. So if you have used months to create something, then it can be gone in seconds. And then we need to open the port outside so we can connect inside to it and that's what we want here I think that's it so let's go in for the terminal and say uh, docker compose up and see how it's reacting about it. it's starting up yeah, and it's downloading the image so right now it's working pretty good and then we are waiting for the set up and it looks like it's uh, starting up now so now now uh, let's go in for the Heidi SQL manager and see about the we can get the connect for the user root and the password secret so now we have the opening the editor for the GUI for the Maria we want to say new and the host name should be this one that's fine and then we need to see secret uh, and, and then we need to open it and see how it's working and now you can just see we have everything here from the database and I get root access for it so I can just see create now new database test and that's not nice OTF 8 oops OTF uh, OTF 8 that's what we want and we just say what should we say let's say dames that's fine I don't care right now I'm just say test so that's how it's working and now you're up and running with the with MySQL with the MariaDB and again, I'll not recommend this for production, but I will recommend this for 
uh, up and running with the fast uh, developer environment. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy. Remember to um, to join me here on YouTube and press the right corner on the thing so you can subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. If you have any questions, please make them in the comments below. I will try to answer them if I can. And I really hope you want to share this video with your friends and of course put it for your playlist so you always know how to do this. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.